Hey, Memory Sports Guards here, coming at you with a Mail Day video. Haven't done one of these in a while. I've been a little bit on the sick side through the holidays. I didn't even get to do my live break that I normally do for Christmas. So, I am hoping that we'll be back next year. So, I'm going to start with a Mail Day video. Um, two things I got over the holidays I didn't show. So, there was only two. was this Hyper Prism of uh, Kayvon Thibodeau from Select Draft. And the Leonard Williams Snakeskin SP. Um, this would have been a Mail of the Week video card but it really is a beautiful card an ssp for under ten dollars of a giant so i was thrilled with that um yeah, da, da, da. let me put all this here um i'm gonna have quite a bit of mail to go through today so please mind me like i said i, I got a lot of stuff come, that came in so let's start everything usually comes off of ebay unless i know other ones Let's see what we got here. Alright, card number one. I just wish it didn't come like this, but okay. Not dented. Good. A 2008 Upper Deck Football Heroes Eli Manning jersey card for my jerseys and my PC. Number one. A 2000 Zoning Commission Amani Tumor Die Cut. Not in the best condition, but you don't see these that often. It's number 156 out of 1000. It's a Amani Tumor, so I'm very happy with that anyway. Once again, it is a Giants PC card, so I don't have as much on condition as though as ones that aren't PC. Obviously, I was buying for resale. I'd be a little bit annoyed, but not too Next up, all right, something I've been waiting for the uh, Pani Downers Optic Blue Circles Blue Mojo Prism of Aziz Ojulari, not numbered, but another huge, another nice PC card today. Uh, you'll see me get a lot of Giants cards this week. These past few weeks just to add to my collection i try to up my number every year so that's probably why we'll see a lot of them but this year that i'm adding to the collection of different guys you might see a little bit of a different situation too i might focus more on white socks and bulls white socks bulls notre dame in fact here we go uh 2008 Donruss Elite Extra Kenny Gilbert Aspirations Die Cut Autograph numbered 89 out of 100. I think I got this for about 3 bucks, so that's why I sort of uh, picked it up. I mean, you're not going to get an autograph like that. He never played with the team, uh, the big league team, but still. It is a Kenny Gilbert. It is a white sock. So I'd like to have that towards my collection. Um, it's nice to add certain cards to your collection, even if they're not big names. Next up, oh, how am I saying? I'm just gonna pull these out because they're base. I can use this. I'll put this aside. Um, I did get this. It's a base card, but he sent me one of these stickers from Upper Deck. It looks like 1991 Upper Deck. Uh, I'll just put this into my collection since it says a White Sox card. Uh, this is a 1997 Pinnacle certified Frank Thomas uh, base card. Uh, one of my favorite cards of all time is Pinnacle certified. So for me, this is a good one. I don't know why I like that. Um, so I'm very happy with that. Hold on one second. All right. Next up is a two thousand four Bowman's Best 
Shingo, Ta Shingo Takatsu. First year rookie relic of a White Sox guy that I don't think he played much. I forget. Um, he was a Japanese player that came to the U.S. Did pretty good. I don't remember, like I said, I don't remember if he played much, but, so. Can't really say he did good or not. Ooh, next one's one of my favorite pickups. Pick this up as well. Giants PC, very happy with this one. A 2020 Panini Absolute Team Tandem of Darius Slayton and Saquon Barkley, number 43 at a 199. And then I added a 2019 Playoff goal line of the great Dexter Lawrence, who's having one of the best seasons I've seen in a long time for one of our defensive tackles. Proving we may have made the right move keeping him over somebody else that we signed. Actually proving out to be one of the better defensive players from that draft. So, very happy with that. Now to add on to the, the k uh, A 2022 wildcard touch football 86 out of 115 Kayvon Thibodeau. I like these cards. They're pretty cool looking. Um, you can see the fingerprint type design. So it does make a lot of sense to buy something like this. There we go, flash is on. So I don't think I made a bad move picking this up for the price. So I'll add this to this one. I'm trying to put all my cards in order. Next up, and if I do this off camera, it's just. It looks silly opening mail on camera. I mean, doing this. Not silly, but it's easier to get it done faster this way. Let's see what we got. Uh, this one is from 2020. Panini Absolute Darius Slayton Blue. Number 49 out of 50. So, another Slayton to add to my collection. Another eBay item. Most of these are going to be from eBay, to be honest with you. Uh, it's just easier to order off of it for me right now. Um, I do look for other stuff, but lately it's just it's an easier with the pay. But we'll see what happens. Next up is a really nice card. I uh, picked this up for a pretty penny. Didn't pay too much, I should say, but... <laughs> uh, a National Treasures 13 out of 50. A Legend of... Frank Gifford, uh, you don't see a lot of his cards, it's a nice looking card, I used to have uh, some others of these, because like, you could get them a little bit cheap, before the pandemic, you can't go wrong with legend anyway, uh, like Gifford's a legend, so yeah, next up is one of my favorite pickups, one of my favorite pickups from this week, it's actually a really nice one too, um, just because of the work he did this weekend, a 2018 Absolute Rookie introduction of Saquon Barkley. Uh, you're not going to get many of his cards. And this is a rookie. I think I paid about 5 bucks for this, if not less. So, I mean, this is a beautiful card. Not his biggest card for rookie-wise. But still, you can't go wrong with uh, a rookie of a guy who's having like one of the best seasons. I mean, he should win Comeback Player of the Year. I don't know if he will. But if you ask me, the guy came back from injury. So, we'll see what happens. Also, I don't think I should be getting this card. Just a little sad now. But, whatever. Uh, this card's pretty cool. It's not a, sort of not a Bulls or a White Sox. Or, it's one of my other PCs. Uh, I don't do much hockey at shows because I don't have it. So, I have to do this on eBay mostly. Um, an SPX winning combos of Nikolai Habibulin and Tumu Rotu. Winning combo is number 225 out of 350. Like I said, you don't see many of these cards. And it wasn't too pricey, so I was happy to pick it up. Next up. Let's see. Okay. Another nice pickup for my PC. 
we're going to be uh, filling up this Eli Manning PC some more this year, too. Uh, I got my first Eli Manning autograph uh, that wasn't sent to me. It's a Christmas gift um, this year. I got tons of rookies. I got, I got more rookies. That's a goal. Uh, and more game used. And low numbered. I did pick this up. It's a 2013 and 2014 top Strata rally card of Eli Manning. It is numbered 47 out of 150. I do like Strata stuff. It's not... Some people don't like it. I do. Um, but it's Eli. You can't go wrong with the Eli Manning card in my mind. This guy's going to be a Hall of Famer. So I just picked it up. It wasn't that pricey. But it wasn't cheap. Like this stuff's starting to go up. Especially since people are starting to realize how good he actually was. I forgot to pick this one up. <laughs> this is a White Sox card. Um, unfortunately, I picked this up before he decided to sign with someone else. It's a dueling die cut bowling card of Jose Abreu and Jorge Solar. I'll be keeping this one um, just because it is a rookie card and it is a White Sox. I wish he stayed with us, but I don't think he made a mistake in not signing him. He is getting older. You know, he wanted to win. I get it. I'm not going to knock him for wanting to leave to win. Next up. Sorry, I'm trying to get into this one without losing anything. Oh, it's kind of ruined, but not badly. Okay. Let's see how we are going to do this. All right. A new one. All right. Another 2013 Elite Extra of Jose Abreu. Didn't spend too much on this, but once again, Chicago. Wish he stayed, but didn't. That's why I'm going through that quickly. Also got a ton of mail to go through. I went a little bit nuts on eBay this week. Um, next up. White Sox PC. You know, this might be a lot of White Sox this week, too. So, if you like White Sox, this is the one to watch. Nothing huge, though. But still. This one's pretty cool. Did I get a brain, maybe? I thought I did, but who knows. Um, a guy I wish we kept, but we made the trade. Um, from 2021 Tops Inception, a green rookie of Dane Dunning. Turned out to be a pretty good player. I wish we kept him, but we did trade him to the White the, Red, the Rangers. So it is what it is. I just picked that up because I needed. Uh, well, I don't need. Yeah, I guess you could say I needed it. This one's um a good one to get. It's actually a Tiki Barber lot. I don't have a lot of his cards, so when I can pick stuff up, I do. And getting a lot helps. Because you can get some good stuff in here. Which I did. Okay. Just looking through it. And you got a base. Yes. Got the gold medallion. Yes. But I did get a 2003 gold card. 21 out of 499 of him. So that right there is worth the value. And then two of these. I don't know if they're the same. Yeah. They are the same. They're mass from Collectors and Masters. Numbered at uh, 5,000. So one of these will go on the card show sale. Probably the higher number one. Um, but you get four cards for about four bucks of him. I'm okay with it. Especially when they're numbered. Um, I might have overpaid a little bit. But I'm not going to go nuts over that. It's Tiki Barber. I need his stuff. So I'm okay with it. Here we go. Another Kayvon. Another select draft of Kayvon Thibodeau, the Unstoppable insert. There's going to be a theme with Kayvon stuff coming in soon. Uh, I've been picking up a lot of his stuff. It's not overly expensive, but he is really good. 
I know people are pissed that he did that thing with Nick Foles. And personally, I don't think he knew exactly that Foles was hurt. I wish he didn't do it, but it is what it is. Like I said, I don't know if he actually knew. Oh, there's that one. Okay. So, this was a lot I bought on eBay. Uh, there's nothing huge. But, for 8 bucks, it was $2 a card. I just took it and ran. Uh, I'm trying to get as much as I can. Uh, there's a mix here. That's right. Sorry, I get annoyed when this happens. A 2008 Leaf Limited uh, jersey relic of Mario Manningham. They are numbered 22 out of 50. I wish he didn't write on it, but I can flip that over. Um, Manningham was one of the stars of our Super Bowl team in 2011. So I think it's important to pick stuff up like that. A Ray Waiteka 1950s card. Uh, really happy to get this card. I used to have it, and I sold all my vintage at one point by mistake. Not by mistake, but I needed some extra money. So I decided that was the one thing that could go, was vintage. I wish I didn't, but sometimes you make mistakes. The next one is a Nicky Delmonico Orange from Topps High Tech Rookie. Number 15 out of 25. And a Tyler Danish. Orange at a 6 out of 25 from 2016 Bowman. So, two guys that really never panned out for the White Sox, but it is what it is, and they're PC cards. So, I was okay with it. Like I said, number 25. Yeah, here it is. The next one is a 2022 Stadium Club. Romy Gonzalez, rookie autograph from Stadium Club. Just got that. Was this, I sniped that last minute. It was like a dollar. Three dollars shipped. So I think I did good on that one. Another... Uh, 2022 Prestige Galaxy Extra Points of Kayvon Thibodeau. So we can add that to the Kayvon collection. A 1998 next wave insert of Tiki Barber is next. I think this is a bronze one, so it is numbered. These are really nice cards from UD3. Uh, numbered 1194 at 2000. Like I said, this was a, a big time hit back in the day. Uh, you didn't have jerseys and autographs like you do now, but just getting them numbered was like a big deal back then. So, that was uh, probably a highly sought after. And for the time period, it was probably a pretty expensive product since they had die cuts and different coloring. So, that's a pretty good pickup for me. Next up is a boy's card. If I can get this open. Next up is a Prism of Ayu Dasunumu, Dasunumu, rookie from uh, the Bulls. I got that fairly cheap, so I, I picked it up. Oh, we're down to our last four for the week. Sorry if there hasn't been much talking. Still having some trouble with my throat when I was sick. <laughs> Another one. 2022 Select Kayvon Thibodeau Blue Prism. So, 
So that is another Kayvon. <laughs> you can see a theme. I'm starting to pick up Kayvons. They're not expensive, some of them, but I just feel like he's going to be good enough that it's worth it to pick up. Okay. This is another pickup I picked up. I picked up a Optic Bronze Tommy Tremble Rated Rookie and a Select Green and Yellow Kenny Galladay Insert. Galladay never lived up, to, lived up to expectations, but he did have that huge catch in the playoffs. So I think we're going to give him a break. Uh, he won't be with the team next year, but I don't think he's going to kill him too much with that catch he made in the last game. This was my big pickup for the week. Uh, anybody who sees it will agree from 2022 Legacy. It is a Purple Legends of Eli Manning, number 8 out of 10. So another nice pickup for my Giants collection, especially my Mannings. And you're talking about a number to 10 card, so I was really happy to pick that up. And it wasn't cheap either. Uh, I think I paid double. Not expensive, but not cheap. This was another, I think it would be tied for a card of the week. Because this card's hard to get. It's a concourse, but once again, select. It doesn't matter as much to me about that. They're just beautiful looking cards. And this one's a huge one for me right now. Because of the way he's playing. As stated. I've been looking for his stuff. This one is a gem. A select. Saquon Barkley. Rookie. Under five bucks. He's having a monster season. This card should have been ten dollars at least. So I jumped all over it. Um, that was like my two big pickups with the Leonard Williams last week. So that's it for now. Um, I'll be back on more. I'm doing a show Sunday. Hopefully I'll have some time to look around. If not, I probably will at the end. Uh, I'll probably make some time. But I hope everyone has a nice rest of their week. I will see everyone next week after the Giants game. Peace.